Hey, it's me, Janaira, and welcome back to my channel. And today I am going to do another full face of one brand makeup testing video. So today's brand is Physicians Formula. I know I got so excited as well when I've learned that Physicians Formula is now available in the UK. Yes, you heard it right. It's now available in the UK. And I'm, I'm, I'm just excited because I have heard a lot about the brand and I've seen it a lot from American YouTubers and now it's available in the UK. So as of the moment, you can only get Physicians Formula from Phil Unique here in the UK. So I will leave a link down below where you can get 15% off your order. So that's really great because I've got a big box here filled with Physicians Formula products and I spent a hundred pounds, over a hundred pounds with this order and I've got almost a full face of makeup and 15% discount is really really good. So if you want to get anything from the brand, don't forget to use the link. I won't get any money out of it. I will just get the same discount as you did. So I'm so excited. I've got, of course, the butter bronzer as soon as I've received this box. This is the first thing that I've opened and I'm excited. I've also got the butter blush. I've got their foundation and many, many more. So let's just start applying all this makeup in this face. So before anything else, just a little information about the brand. So the brand started by a doctor forgot the name but it's a doctor but he's got a wife who was suffering from lupus and she wanted to wear makeup that wouldn't aggravate her skin condition so the doctor decided to make his own brand so here it is the physician's formula so this is considered a healthy brand it is safe for those who have um, sensitive skin so yeah that is just a bonus i am really excited to try all this products so so let's begin with the primer so for my primer i've got this one so this is the physician's formula spotlight illuminating primer it looks like this i've heard a lot about this primer and i'm really excited because i've been loving a healthy glowy looking skin so i'm excited to try this one this is 30 ml and it rps for 12.99 pounds comes in a glass bottle and the packaging is amazing i love it it says here blurs corrects and protects infused with five filtering luminescent pearls to blur imperfections and deliver a spotlight glow enriched with antioxidants apply evenly over clean face and blend with fingertips can be worn over foundation so yep, it's basically an illuminating primer so let's try it What I'm gonna do is, I will just be applying this onto the high points of my face to prime because it's an illuminating primer. And I will just be using my finger. Oh, look at that. That was just one pump. It has a scent. Oh, I think it's fragrance. Hmm. And I will just be applying it all over my face, whatever was left on my fingertips. Oh, look at that glow. Oh, I love that. Look at that glow. I love how glowy that looks. And I love it. it the only thing about this is it has fragrance, so it, it smells perfumey for me. I can't see any ingredients in here, so I don't really know. But yeah, so if you don't like perfumey kind of um, makeup, you won't love this, but I don't mind. Can't smell it from here, so yeah. That's the primer, so now let's proceed with the foundation. I'm excited with the foundation. For my foundation, I'll be testing out the Physician's Formula the healthy foundation it looks like this this packaging is amazing it's a glass bottle as well and it has SPF of 20 and it says here brightening complex it is for all skin types and it is also 30 ml which is the regular size of a foundation and it RPs for £12.99 as well. So it says here it is hypoallergenic, cruelty-free, dermatologist-tested, and it's vegan, it's fragrance-free, 
it's non-comedogenic and it's clinically tested and it hydrates brightens and evens skin tone it's ultra blendable lightweight buildable and breathable formula so all the good things that you could ask for a foundation i've heard a lot about this foundation so I'm really excited to try it i've got the shade mn3 i think that's medium neutral 3 if i'm not mistaken but yeah feels like it's the right shade for me so let's open this up by the way, I forgot to mention I've already got my brows on because I didn't get any brow product from the brand. So I've got my usual brows and yeah, let's start applying the foundation. So for my foundation, I'll be using a brush on one half of my face and then I'll be using my Tarte sponge which I've been loving ever since I've tried Tarte Cosmetics brand on the other side of my face so let's see if there's any difference. I'll start with my e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush and oh it's a doe foot applicator it's a massive doe foot applicator i didn't expect that i thought it would be a pump but i don't mind yep it doesn't have any scent i'll just be applying probably about this much let's see if this will do It is the perfect shade match for me. I'm really happy with that. But, but with that layer of foundation, I didn't get any coverage. And I love the finish. It's like it, it's more like a natural skin-like finish. And I love that. And it's not matte and not very dewy as well. I'm not really sure if that's the primer of or if it's the foundation that's giving a glow. So I'm going to apply a bit more. And see if it will add a bit more coverage. It does have a little bit of scent. But it says on the packaging, it's fragrance free. I'm not sure if that's the spotlight primer. But I can smell something. I don't know. So that's the second layer. I still love the finish. It's not cake even if I layered it up but still hasn't got the coverage that I would love because I've got so many blemishes and I can still see them and I feel like it's medium. It's light to medium. Although it says it's buildable so not really sure about that. So I'll be proceeding with the other side of my face and we'll see if the sponge will do better. The formula of this foundation is quite liquidy. I don't really see a massive difference, especially with the texture. It's just the same. It's as smooth as the brush side and the coverage is just the same. So it doesn't change anything. It's basically just your preference, whatever you would like to use. I'm adding a bit more because I love to cover up my blemishes. So that's the second layer. I really love how natural it looks. It looks like my skin, especially the shade. I'm, I'm quite impressed. And I love that it is not matte. And you can't really see that I'm wearing a foundation, like heavy foundation, because I've layered it up already. And yeah, I'm really happy with this. If you've got good skin day, this would be a good foundation. But if you've got blemishes just like me, it won't cover much of your blemishes. As you can see, you can still see through my blemishes, but that's why we've got concealer. So let's now proceed with the concealer. So with the concealer, this is the only concealer that is available from Phil Unique. Oh, and it is the Physician's Formula Concealer Twin. So it has a corrector and the concealer side. So I wasn't able to use the corrector. I've already got my foundation on. I forgot about this really sorry and this was $7.99 so let's open it up so there are two sides of the concealer one is the green corrector so you can use this to cover up like redness on your skin 
and then we've got oh, that's a good one that's nice and then you've got the concealer side which is this side so they both have a tiny doe foot applicator so let us apply the concealer so it's a lighter shade so I will just be using this to highlight my under eyes so I'll be using the same sponge it's like a peachy kind of shade as well It is definitely brightening because of the shade because it's lighter shade but it didn't have any it didn't have any coverage I don't think it does but um, I'll add a bit more to add a bit more coverage under my eyes So that concealer is a bit matte, like matter than the foundation, but not flat matte, but it still looks good and it did highlighted my under eyes and didn't have much um, of a coverage as well, but it's still a good one. Not mad at it. I'm loving my base makeup. I love it. So now I'm going to set this all up using the Physicians Formula, the Healthy Powder. And this has SPF for 15 and it RPs for £12.99. And I got the shade MW2. So this is medium warm too if I'm not mistaken. They didn't have great shade selection either. So yeah, I've got this shade. Looks like it, it would be a good shade for me. And it comes with a puff like a sponge like this but I'll just be using my e.l.f. Um, small tapered brush just to set my under eyes so I'll be using this I feel like this has got coverage look so and it's a little bit powdery it didn't it doesn't have a mirror as well oh it does have a mirror underneath so I'll be using the mirror They also have loose powder which I didn't get because I don't know I just don't I just just heard a lot about this powder so I got this powder if you love loose powder they also do loose powder that's quite a nice powder it did set my under eye and yeah, I love it it smoothened my complexion so I'll just be using a bigger brush I'll be using the complexion brush by elf just to powder all over my face yeah, this is a little bit powdery. I'm loving my complexion. Look at that. It looks like I'm airbrushed. Oh, my skin looks so, so smooth and healthy. Oh, I love it. That's why it's called Healthy Formula. Healthy Powder, the Healthy Foundation. Look at that even if I didn't have the coverage that I like I I still love my complexion oh I'm loving this base oh, I love it I love it now the best part the part that I'm really excited about is the butter bronzer I've been wanting to try this and yeah let's try it it's the it's the physician's formula butter bronzer moru moru butter bronzer so i got the shade bronzer which is their um i think their original shade but they've got so many shades now so they cater different skin tones as well but i just got this one i love the packaging it looks so summery and it's like holiday and it smells like holiday i love it like coconut and vanilla and it just smells like holiday and then it comes with a mirror and a puff as well it has this i thought this was a brush but it's a puff i don't really know how to use this so i'm not gonna attempt to use it because i don't want to ruin my beautiful base so i won't be using this puff like a spongy kind of thing don't know how to use that so i'll just be using the butter bronzer I'm really excited so for the bronzer i would just be using my flawless face brush from elf and i'll be swirling this around oh i'm excited i don't want to ruin it i love it so oh my goodness look at that feel 
like this shade is just so perfect for me as well I love it it's so creamy but it's blendable and oh my god look at that now I know why people have been raving about this it's really good it's really good I love it I love that it's not very pigmented it has a perfect perfect pigmentation it's buildable and it's very blendable and I love the shade it's perfect for me and I love it I'm enjoying it I'll just be using this to contour my nose as well really happy with that oh it's, that's exciting how much was this it's 12.99 so this is 12.99 it is really worth a try. I love it. Look at that. I love it. So now let's proceed with the blush. They didn't have highlighter. So I did get this shade of blush. So this is the butter blush. And I've got the shade. What shade is this? Natural glow. So this is like a glowy kind of blush. But they also do matte blushes. But I did get this one because they didn't have highlighter available. So, yeah, it's like two-in-one for me. And I also love um, highlighty kind of blush. So, I got this. And it says here, this is cruelty-free, hypoallergenic. Just same thing. Um, Dermatology is tested. And, yeah, let's try it. It looks exactly the same as the butter bronzer. But it's smaller and it's pink. Look at that. They're so cute. I love the packaging. And this was £10.99. And it comes with the mirror and a little blob, um, what, the spongy kind of thing. Which I won't be using. And it looks like this. I think it's a little bit light. Yeah. Uh, made a mistake. It looks like highlighter. And it smells as good as well. So, don't really know about this. It's kind of light for my skin tone. would probably just put a bit more of the bronzer onto my cheeks. Yeah. To give a little bit of color. Right, so I'll be using this and I'll be using my e.l.f. blush brush. Yeah, It's a little bit, yeah. I'll just be applying it onto the high points of my face. Don't know if you can see that. Can't really see it. It's not a blush. That's definitely highlighter for me. So I should have got a matte blush. So because I don't have a matte blush, I'll just be using my Wet n Wild color icon. That didn't went so well, but. Yeah, that's not a blush. So I'll be just using this. And I got the shade Mellow Wine. I just want a little bit of like... Yeah, like that. A bit of red. Chicks. I'll be using a more fluffy brush. This Duo Fiber Face Brush. And I'll be using the Butter Blush. Just to like a blush topper yeah that's better that's better for me yep look at that oh i love it i love it i think that's my complexion for now so let's proceed with the eyes so for my eyes i've got the physician's formula the healthy eyeshadow six Grams. And this RP is for $7.99. So it's a quad. And I got the shade Classic Nude. Because this is my kind of shade. This is what I normally wear like every day of my life. Not every day, but every time I do my, my makeup. So yeah, they also do big palettes, which I didn't get because they're $15.99. And I don't need a big palette. I just want to try this one so yep it comes with a spongy kind of tool as well which i don't know if anyone you I, I use this for packing like glittery or shimmery shade but this doesn't look like it has shimmery shade so it has neutral classic brown shades like natural shades 
which I'm really happy and I love it. So I'll swatch the four shades. They're very creamy. I'll swatch them so we'll see. And they're a bit powdery as well. Here how the shade looks like. They're all matte. I think this the darkest brown, like chocolatey brown, has a little bit of shin, but not much. But yep, they're all matte. And I love the shades. I love them. So I'll just be using the lighter shade. They don't have shade names as well. It says here, ultra creamy, highly pigmented, coordinated eyeshadows that can be mixed and layered. So I'll be using this bone, like white kind of shade just to set my eyes. They're Oh, look at that. Just to set my concealer. Then I'll be using this shade right here just all over my eyes. It's really nice pigmentation. Look at that. And then I'll be using a fluffier brush and then I'll be using this shade right here, like a cream kind of shade just to blend the edges out. And then just a tiny bit of that chocolate, that, like the darkest shade onto the outer corners. I think that's the only shade that gave me a little bit of hard time applying maybe because it's not matte and it's like a shimmery kind of shade but all the other shades they were really nice i love how they blended out so quickly and i love it so i'm just blending out a little bit more really missing some highlight here so i'll just be using the the butter blush to highlight although it's a little bit pinky I'll just use this to highlight yeah that'll do that'll do that's great I love that I'm quite happy with how my eye look turned out and now let's proceed with the mascara. So I've got here the Organic Wear Jumbo Mascara and yeah, I'm excited with this one. And I love the packaging. They also do this in pink. I really wanted to get the pink one but I don't know why I got this. I think it was like a recommendation or something. And it says here it's 100% natural. It's big, thick, and bold lashes. Yeah, that's why I got this. Just look at that packaging. Oh, it looks so good. It looks so good. So let's see the wand. Oh, it's a jumbo wand. And it's a, like a plastic silicone kind of wand. And I love the, the consistency. It's not very wet and it's not dry. So I'll just be curling my lashes the bristles are so tiny I don't really know if it's getting any of my lashes and the wand is so big that I don't know mm, not really sure about that I don't even know if it's doing anything So that's it. I don't know if it, no, didn't ha it didn't give me any length. Well, it didn't say it's gonna lengthen my lashes, but not even. I don't know. It didn't do anything. I think it's the wand. I'm not really sure about the wand. It's just all over my eyelids now. Oh my goodness. Yeah, nothing. So. I love that my lashes are fanned out. They're not clumpy, but no length, nothing. <laughs> Just like my natural lashes. And naturally, I don't have lashes, so you won't even see them. So, nothing. If there's anything, just mud just all over my eyelids and I'm not happy about that so I'm not really sure about this I do love the like the 
consistency it's not wet and it's not dry either it's just that it didn't do anything so the only thing that I'm not really happy about so let's proceed with the lips last but certainly not the least I've got two lip products first one is the healthy lip velvet finish so this is in the shade all natural nude and this RP is for $7.99 and then I also got the healthy formula the physicians formula murmur butter with spf of 15 and this is 7.99 as well and i've got the shade soaking up the sun so i'm really excited with this one i'm gonna try the lip velvet lip cream first shade is a little bit it's like a nude kind of shade and the applicator is like a, i don't know pointy I love the applicator you can be so precise with it because of the pointy thing and it is bendable like it is very I don't know if you can see that it is flexible it is flexible so that's it oh I love that I love that shade and it is very very comfortable it's not sticky and it's not drying it's velvety and it's very comfortable oh i love that oh my mascara is already smudging oh, oh no it's gonna ruin my makeup mm. oh i love that I love that lip. I love that lip. So that's the first lip product and the second one. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna remove this lipstick and then I'll apply the other one. But I already love this. So let's see. I'll be using the shade Soaking Up The Sun. It looks like this, and we'll see. <gasps> it's like a gloss. And it smells so nice. I love it. It's like a tinted lip gloss. Oh, I love that. And it... I don't know if it's just because it's hot in here, but it it melts like it melts in your lips. <gasps> oh no, 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 that's not right, is it? <laughs> so I think it's just because it's hot in here, but that's not right. <laughs> but I love it. I love that it is glossy and it is pigmented. And it tastes so nice. I love it. <laughs> That is still a good one for me, even though it's a bit of a fail, but I'm keeping this and I'm putting it in my handbag. So here's the finished look. I am really, really, really impressed with this brand. I get it now why people have been raving about it. Look at my complexion. I just love all the complexion products. I love the foundation even if it didn't have the full coverage that I wanted. It is very lightweight and I love the finish. It looks like my skin but better and I love it. And it doesn't crease up easily and it looks so, so natural and it feels so natural. Like I'm not wearing anything and I love it. I love the concealer. I didn't expect a lot with the concealer but I do love it and the powder I love it and especially the butter bronzer I think this is my favorite favorite part and I know now why people have been so obsessed about this bronzer and I love it I love it the blush um it's not the right shade for me and it's quite 
light and highlighty so it's more of a blush topper or a highlighter especially for my skin tone so I think I need to get uh, another shade for that and then the eyeshadow quad I love it the darkest shade was the only shade that I had a hard time but all the other shades they were really really good very blendable pigmented and I love the shade selection like the color selection it's like like my everyday kind of shade and I love it and of course the lipstick I love the velvet lipstick it was so comfortable and I love the shade that I got and of course this one the butter the, the the what's it called this butter murumuru butter lipstick i love it i love it it's glossy and pigmented and i love the shade it's perfect for my skin tone as well i'm really happy about this the only thing that i regret buying is the mascara i didn't do anything with my lashes no length no nothing not even yeah what it did is it just ruined my eye look look it's already smudging and i'm not really happy about that but all in all it's a thumbs up for me i highly 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 recommend this brand if you wanted to try it i will leave a link down below where you can get 15 percent off the phil unique website so whatever whatever product you will be buying from phil unique not just the physician's formula but yep having 15 percent discount is such a good discount especially if you wanted to try all these products and i love it and i'm really happy with how it looked and look at my skin it looks so glowy and, and the primer and the primer the primer i think the primer helped a lot with how my skin looks and yeah that's it for this makeup testing video i know this has been long but i really wanted to give you a good first impressions and that's it i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you find it helpful and if you did please do give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and may your day be as flawless as your makeup today see you on my next one bye